So you're new here to Manhattan and it's the summertime and you have no idea what to do. Well, that's perfect because I've got the perfect weekend for you. What's going on everybody? Kyle Powers here with Haven Real Estate Group at eXp Realty. K-State grad turned contractor turned real estate agent and investor. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Today, we are gonna cover the perfect weekend from Manhattan, Kansas and what you can be doing. Day one, we are here, you get. You just got here or you just moved in or you're just trying to figure out what to do. In the morning, I would highly recommend you go check out Kanza Prairie. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that this place is a staple of our area. The Kanza Prairie is the natural prairie grasses. You can't have bikes, you can't have dogs, you can't have all that stuff because you don't want to disturb the life out there. But what you can do is go hike, enjoy the sunsets, enjoy I guess it's morning, enjoy the sunrise uh, and enjoy that place out there because it is an amazing opportunity to be out there. So go check that place out. Go check out some of our local coffee shops there in the morning. Uh, you're gonna enjoy either Redina's, Paramore, um, Brothers Coffee or uh, Blue Stem there in Aggieville. There's a lot of opportunity for local Again, I wanna be very key, local places. Yes, Starbucks is good, I promise you. You're going to enjoy these local places a lot more. So, go check out one of those. If you do have questions about them, put it in the comments below, I'd love to hear from you. As the afternoon progresses, is as you get to the afternoon, the, the temperatures start to rise a little bit, I would recommend you going out to Pillsbury Crossing. If you haven't been there, or if you don't know about that place, go check out my video. I've got a video of it. It is phenomenal, okay? So going out there, there's a waterfall with a swimming hole out there. Uh, you do have to be careful. There are some regulations and things, just typical laws that you have to kind of pay attention to. Please, 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 if and when you go out there, number one, enjoy it. It's a beautiful place. Number two is don't litter, don't do that kind of stuff. The reason we have these kinds of opportunities for ourselves, for our kids and for our families is because People go out there and they take care of it. So don't leave trash, don't leave a lot of that stuff. So take care of the natural life out there. Um, you know, cans and wrappers and things like that, that's not natural life. So please clean up after yourself. But definitely go check out Pillsbury Crossing. There's a lot of other waterways and things there that I would also recommend. Uh, going to the Big Blue River, uh, going to Rocky Ford, a lot of things that you can go to as the temperatures start to rise and you start getting a little warmer, check out our water opportunities here. Uh, after you've gone and done that one, definitely check out some local lunch spots. You know, again, Tallgrass Tap House is a great one. Uh, my favorite, as always, So Long Saloon is an excellent one. Uh, or just some stuff there in the local spots. You know, down in Aggieville or down in off of Points, there's a lot of local opportunities for restaurants. Uh, and then on the west side of town, a local spot is Mr. K's Cafe. Uh, you can definitely check that one out too. As the evening progresses and as you get to that point of it, what I would recommend you get to is going out and checking out some of our local shop, our local uh, shops and restaurants. Uh, down on points, there's an ample opportunity of burger shops. Uh, there's, a, there's a place going in, um, Sparks Burger, I think is the name of that one. So it's a local shop. Haven't eaten there yet because I don't know if it's open yet. Uh, but you've got Tap House down there. You've got Bourbon and Baker, which is an excellent spot. And then you've got um, Manhatchet, I think is down there. Uh, so there's a lot of opportunity that you're able to really go in and start uh, start your evening and just kind of enjoy a peaceful evening. If you're down on points, this is a big one. If you're down on points, you don't have to worry about the college kids. You don't have to worry about all that kind of stuff. So it gives you that opportunity that you can take care of a lot of that. Day two, you are back and you're enjoying the whole thing. Go to your local coffee shop, because I definitely have, that's a that's a must for me anytime I wake up and get going anywhere. Uh, and go check out the top of the world. If you have questions about where that is, put it in the comments below. I'd love to show you and kind of point you in that direction. This view is spectacular, okay? I don't care what point of the day it is, but if you go in the morning and, and watch the sunrise at the top of the world here in Manhattan, you won't hate it, I promise you that. So grab your coffee, go to the top of the world, go enjoy that nice evening, sorry, that nice morning air and just kind of get up and around and get going there. The air's gonna be beautiful, the, the coffee's gonna be delicious if you get it from a local shop here uh, and you'll really have a good opportunity. As soon as you're done there, go to Early Edition, okay? Because Top of the World is right down the road from Early Edition. So go to Early Edition, there's a lot of skillets there that are my favorite by far. Uh, the Colonel, 
that's a good one. Uh, but anyway, go to early edition, continue your coffee, get your water, get your orange juice, whatever that looks like for you, but go and enjoy that beautiful uh, food that you can have there. Beautiful, how about delicious food that you can have there at early edition. As it starts to warm up again, let's get you out to Tuttle Creek Lake. There are two spots that you can go to there at Tuttle Creek Lake. You can go to the river pond, which is really good. There's a nice swimming. This is our version of the beach. Uh, you can go to a nice swimming area. There's volleyball nets down there. There's a, it's all public. Uh, you'll have to pay for a day pass to get into there, but it definitely is a good opportunity just to kind of go and enjoy the, uh, the water and get out there that way. If you don't want to go to the river pond, and let's say you want to go to the marina, we do have Wildcat Marina here in town. Uh, when you get down there, you kind of take some windy roads and things down to it, but it is a good opportunity to either go rent a boat or just go enjoy being down there on the docks. They do have, depending on the day, depending on the on the time of day, you can get in there. They do have uh, just some small snack shops, things like that. I think they do serve beer down there. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but then also, depending on the evening, you can go back to Wildcat Marina and have uh, and they'll have live bands and and things like that doesn't happen all the time so make sure you check if that's what you're going for make sure you check what's out there so the wildcat marina is a good spot for you to go to just kind of get out on the lake and enjoy that day so day two your evening is coming to an end and you're looking for a place to eat one place outside of town if you're still at wildcat marina what i would tell you to do is just continue on down to the little grill uh, this is a Jamaican style food. It's right kind of off the beaten path. You wouldn't necessarily see it or think about it uh, if you didn't know that you were going to it. So, but it is kind of up by the marina. So you can definitely, as soon as you get off the marina, get off the water, you can go up there to Little Grill, enjoy some delicious food, typically some good music and always some good company as well. After you finish dinner and you're headed out there, definitely check out Locked here in Manhattan, or there's a lot of opportunities that you can go and enjoy. Just a good opportunity to get out and, and immerse yourself in the Manhattan culture uh, and everything that we have here to offer for families and, and, and uh, retirees and college students and everything in general. Uh, but Locked Manhattan is a really good opportunity for you to kind of get out there and, and look at some things. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this content and if you do enjoy the videos that I do put out, please go and hit that subscribe button. Go and hit that little bell so you get notified of any future content and give us that like because it does help us grow the channel. As always, I do this for you guys. So if you do have any questions about buying, selling, investing, or anything real estate related, please give me a call. I would love to hear from you. My phone number is 785. 477-5485. My email is Kyle at homesforsalemhk.com. And again, I really do appreciate you guys watching. If you would like to see any other videos or anything else like this, put it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you and see what we can do to answer any questions about Manhattan or anything along those lines. So thank you so much for watching these videos. I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the other ones, but until next time, thank you for watching.